Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Also known as Contract Killer and King of Killers, I've always felt that Hitman was somewhat of an odd project for martial arts superstar Jet Li, creeping in just before his big Hollywood break with Lethal Weapon 4 and Romeo Must Die, and proving to be his last Hong Kong movie of the 20th century. While it's never been considered as one of Jet Li's greatest titles by Hong Kong film fans, and would be the first and only time they would hear him speak Cantonese in his own voice, the film has enough charm and excitement to help make it an above average action comedy that entertains. It tells the tale of two hitmen, one of which is a novice and the other a middle-aged con man riddled with bad luck, who join forces to take on the keen of killers in order to claim a huge reward. Co-written by comedy writer, director and actor Vincent Koch, Chan Hing Kai and Chung Kam Fu, Hitman was produced by Gordon Chan, the popular writer and director behind hits such as Fight Back to School, Fist of Legend, Thunderbolt and 2000 AD, alongside the infamous Hung Brothers under the Wins Entertainment banner, with popular action choreographer Stephen Tung Wai directing. Widely known as the young student of Shaolin Temple and Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon, Tung Wai started life in the industry as a child actor in the late 1960s, quickly going on to become one of the most sought after martial arts performers and actors of his generation, starring in a kung fu classics such as Along Comes the Tiger, Executioners from Shaolin, Incredible Kung Fu Master, and many more. The late 1970s would see him make his debut as a martial arts director, soon moving into modern action cinema with hits such as A Better Tomorrow, Magnificent Warriors, Pom Pom and Hot Hot, and The Blade, among many others, before making his directorial debut in 1990 with the superb Magic Cop starring Lam Ching Ying. This would be followed by Jade Lung's Fox Hunter five years later, and Hitman in 1998. Oddly, Tung Wai would direct his fourth and final film just a few years later with the poorly received Extreme Challenge, an interesting martial arts adventure that featured a young Scott Adkins in one of his first roles. With Hitman, Tung Wai possibly delivers his best work out of the four, aided by a strong cast that includes the wonderful Jet Li as leading man Fu, a naive and inexperienced hitman in training who is highly skilled in martial arts. The brilliant Eric Chang stars as Lu, a notorious liar who guides Fu in their hunt for the king of killers, an unstoppable hitman and vigilante cop played by the delightful Simon Yam. And the lovely Gigi Lung stars as Lu's daughter Kiki, an intelligent and beautiful lawyer who starts to fall for the innocent Fu. Japanese actor Keiji Sato makes his feature film debut as one of the main villains of the story, and while he does impress, his acting career would only last just over a decade, making seven films including Hong Kong titles such as Expect the Unexpected, Gen X Cops and The Mission. He plays the son of crime boss Tsukamoto, here played by the prolific Japanese actor Kenji Sahara, the star of many classic kaiju movies featuring Godzilla, Mothra and Ultraman for over six decades from the mid-1950s. Canadian martial arts actor Paul Rapofsky stars as one of Jet Li's challengers, returning to star alongside him for the second time after playing a Russian thug in My Father is a Hero and going on to star in Extreme Challenge for Tung Wei soon after. They are joined by actors such as Kim Yip Kwong, Frankie Ng, John Ching, Chung Kwai Bo, Hidari Meiken, the popular Dion Lam, and British stuntman Jude Poyer, who gets an impressive action scene as an assassin that faces off against Jet and Eric. Dumbed down with a new English dub, rescored and trimmed by around six minutes for its North American release as Contract Killer, Hitman proves to have some memorable moments of drama and comedy throughout it, even referencing films such as Leon the Professional and A Better Tomorrow, before eventually settling on becoming a solid martial arts actioneer towards its second half. With shades of a John Wick style universe, the film offers plenty of exciting martial arts action and gunplay, courtesy of Stephen Tung Wai and his team, who include a mix of Jackie Chan and Yung Wu Ping stunt team members, 
such as Jack Wong, Chan Su Wa, Didi Ku, and Tony Ling Chi Wa, enhanced with some exciting camera work from prolific cinematographer Arthur Wong. Between them, the team create a wide range of exciting hand-to-hand -hand battles, stylish shootouts, sword fights, and impressive stunt work that helps make Hitman sit proudly alongside Lee's other modern Hong Kong hits such as My Father is a Hero, Black Mask, High Risk, and The Bodyguard from Beijing, before leaving for the fame and fortune of Tinseltown.